text is lesson 31, more Latin roots. You have this page in front of you. Make sure you put your name, class, and date. Also, I'd like you to put your standard right here, right next to where it says lesson 31, more Latin roots. And your standard is actually a common core state standard for California. We have two of them, one's from Conventions 2C and one's from Vocabulary 4C. I'd like you to write the bolded, the bolded words next to the heading to be able to spell correctly and to be able to trace the entomology of words, roots, prefixes, suffixes. Pause here if you need to write that down still. Okay. <clears throat> So um, I know you're at home, it's kind of silly, but I would ask you to repeat after me so you know how to say these words. Um, so, you know, don't feel too silly, just say them out loud. One, conducted. Two, educate. Three, container. Four, adjust. Five, detained. Six, sentimental. Seven, productive. Eight, deceived. Nine, attended. Ten, adjustments. Eleven, justice. Twelve, acceptable. Thirteen, acceptance. Fourteen, sensation. Fifteen, sensory and 16 perceived. Now if you look over to the right you'll notice that this week they have the meaning of these roots under each root which is kind of helpful for us. Let's go ahead and read directions. Each spelling word is based on a Latin root. Look at each word. Notice the position of the Latin root in each one. Sort the spelling words by root to help you remember them. Examples have been given. So here, sense and scent means feel, and the example they give is sensitive. Here, sieve and sept mean take, and the example they give is receive. Here, duck, a duct means lead or lead. Uh, the example they have is induce. Ten and tain mean hold. The example they give is obtain. Just means law, the example that they give is justify, and ten or tend means stretch, as in attentive. So you're going to make sure that you put the words in the correct box. Another thing I'd like you to do today that's different is to pick three of these words to write sentences for, um, three of your 16 words. And I'll give you an example here of a couple of them. Let's go with sentimental, number six. The locket I lost had great sentimental value, which means it was very special. Uh, another, another one, number eight, deceived. When Jim found out that he had been deceived, he was quite angry, you know, tricked. Um, another one, sensory, number 15. I experienced a sensory overload in the perfume shop or sometimes I do in a junior high classroom when someone wears too much perfume or cologne. You know how that is. Um, so go ahead and write. You can just write in the columns here, just three sentences. Um, and the number you want to write next to the sentence depends on the word that you use here. Okay? Lastly, uh, on the front page here, I want you to use your own words uh, or make your create your own words. So look for other words that are formed from Latin roots to add to the list. You might find tenacious or retain in a book about politics. Stories about school dances might include reception or consent. So for your own words here, and then a little something down here. When a Latin root is formed is used to form an English word, the spelling of the root sometimes changes. Also, how you say the word could change as well. And lastly, I'd like you to turn the page over and as always, write your uh, each of your words three times each. Good luck.